Hey, how's it going guys? It is Arc1 here, back with another video. This time I am in Tree of Savior, and there's a lot going on. There's a lot we need to talk about, um, about this game. First off, it's not your typical, um, MMO, but it is an MMO, in case you're wondering. It's an MMO from, oh gosh, I almost said From Software, it's so much Dark Souls 3. Uh, I believe IMC Software or something like that. It's on the little logo thing when you log into the game. But anyway, that's besides the point. What I'm here to talk to you about is a few tips and tricks to get ahead of the curve when playing the game. And the first thing that I want to talk about is just the combat. It's very Diablo-ish. If you've ever played Diablo 3, um, you've got your basic click to move option. You can also use a controller, unlike Diablo 3 actually. And you've got the keybinds where you can use, you know, your arrow keys to move those are the options you have available to you at the very start so you have your controller option you have your keyboard option which then uses the arrow keys to move and then ASD and all that becomes macro to keys which you can then add more slots with and you have your mouse which is not feasible for a lot of classes but I find it better because it's just more of a Diablo type feel so that is the basic setup for combat in the game. It says UI setup, but it's really just for everything, combat or otherwise. Another thing you need to know about this game is that it's very grinder based. Um, this is probably the most grindy of a game I have ever played, if that's even a word. Like the number of mobs you have to kill to level as like it scales so it's got a leveling curve but the good thing about that is there are these XP resets what that means is after a certain point your the level at which you gain XP will decrease or rather reset to its original or almost to its original so it becomes as if you're leveling from level one again where a few mobs down will gain you and you know an entire level I think this happens at like 46 again at like 80 83 or something so you can tell I'm close to my next reset another thing is to download add-ons and mods if you're gonna get into this game there are some pretty useful ones the one I'm using right now I will link in the description below and you can download that it's like I said very useful gives you you know a good estimate of how many mobs you need to kill to level as well as telling you you know on the map like you know, what parts you've explored, etc. Alright, on to the fourth thing. The optimization for the game is not top-notch. Um, if you can see my FPS counter, it's fluctuating between 50 to 60. There's really nothing I can do about that. I've tried running the game without SLI, and I've tried running the game with SLI. Doesn't seem to affect much. The usage stays at 37%. Well, 7 to 37%, depending on what I'm doing. And it doesn't seem to go higher, lower. It's um, it's kind of odd. I'm not sure if they're going to fix that. But again, this is the North American release. And it could be patched at a later date, I'm sure. But as far as I know, in Korea, that's the same issue we have over there. If you were using a higher resolution monitor though, like a, sorry, a higher refresh rate uh, screen, like, you know, 120 hertz, I have been told that that goes up to 120, so I'm guessing it's a limitation set by the game. I'll do a later video if there's enough demand for that, about how to tweak your settings and improve that. Alright, so, what else is there to talk about? So, the one thing you're going to notice as you progress through this game is that, aside from there being a lot of grinding, there's a lot of, like, options as far as how you choose to spend your experience. You get these things called experience cards, and I have a few. What they are, uh, they're just cards that give you EXP, a set amount of EXP. You can then, from that, go ahead and use them now, save them later if you're doing a dungeon etc. It's always best to save them for when you hit like, a, like an EXP wall, like where it becomes really really hard to level, I guess, or you know just the leveling curve is just too hard. That's when you want to use all your EXP cards. At least that's what I've been told. I haven't really been following that formula. It's a good formula, mainly because a lot of people are more patient than I am. I personally don't follow that because I'm not the most patient person. But as far as I've been told, it works great. 
I'm probably gonna hit a wall here in level 80, 81, 82, and I have 24 level 4 XP cards saved up so far. I know you can get a 100 to 200 of each level card, and you just wait until you get to level wall and just spam them. I've never been one for that. I use them as I go as I feel needed, and I think it's fine to do the same thing. I don't think you'll lose out too much spent cards, but just know that there are dungeons and there are other ways to get tons of XP. And you can always just grind in the open world dungeon spaces. If you've played Ion or Terra, then you know there are these locations where there are high level mobs that give a crazy amount of XP. And also remember those XP resets I talked about? So say, there, I know there's an open world dungeon at level 46 that you can go to. This gives, you know, relatively high EXP, so at level 46, instead of spending your cards, you can just go to the set dungeon and farm there until level 50, and then you have all these cards, all these extra cards you can use to go even higher than that. So it's just something to think about. And I think that should cover it for this video. I'm not really sure if this was helpful. Please let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if you know what type of videos you want me to put out for Tree of Savior if you want any other videos in the future. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.